Good day, teachers and learners. Good day, everyone. I am Teacher Tony, a junior high school mathematics teacher. In this video, we will explore on how we can use Glasgow's calculator in learning and teaching graphs of quadratic function. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also presented in the Kashi book on graphing quadratic functions. The Casio Emulator is a great tool for teachers to simulate the process of learning and computation in class. In this lesson, we will be exploring Shift and then Options to activate the QR code and to see the graph of quadratic functions. In graphing quadratic functions, we need to determine certain properties, and these are the domain and range of the function, the intercepts of the function, the axis of symmetry, the vertex of the parabola, and the direction of the opening of the parabola. To do so, using our cash class fees, we need to have the equation function. To do so, we need to press menu and then the negative button for the equation. And then we need to press 2 for the polynomial equation. And then since our degree is 2, we need to press 2. We need to input the numerical coefficients a, b, and c in our calculator. In this case, our a is equal to 1. So press 1 and then equals. Our b is negative 2. So press negative and then 2, then equals. And lastly, our c is negative 3. So press negative and then 3 and then equals. Pressing equals again. We have the x-intercepts, 3, and then pressing equals again, the other x-intercept is negative 1. Our y-intercept is the constant term in our function. So our y-intercept is negative 3. We all know that the domain of any quadratic function is the set of real numbers. but for our range, we need to determine the value of the highest y-coordinate or the lowest y-coordinate depending upon the opening of the parabola. When we press equals again to our cash plus list, we can see that the, the phrase minimum of y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Therefore, this, the graph, opens upwards. Thus, our y-coordinate will be the lowest value for the range. Hence, our range will be all values of y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, for our axis of symmetry, we need to equate the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is 1, to x. So you have x equals 1 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, our vertex is at the point 1 and negative 4. To see the graph of this quadratic function, we can have the QR code for the Casio class suites by pressing shift and then options. And then you can see the QR code on your screens. And then by scanning using your smartphone by a QR code reader, you will prompt into the website of Casio. Doing so, we have the graph of the quadratic function. I hope that you were able to grasp the steps in determining the properties of the graphs of quadratic function. That's it for now. We are positive that our teachers will be able to share this wonderful learning experience with our students. We hope that we brought ease in teaching the graphs of quadratic functions using Casio class V's. See you on our next videos.